Hey guys, it's Lori Croft. You know how sometimes you just want a cookie, but you don't want a whole bunch of cookies? Well, I found a great recipe to make one big giant chocolate chip cookie. And uh, here's what you're gonna need. First of all, preheat your oven to 350. Get yourself a cookie sheet. Love parchment paper. You don't have to clean the cookie sheet. You just throw the parchment paper away and get that lined. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna need two tablespoons of salted butter, and you're gonna melt it to where it's almost melted. And then of course, put that in your bowl. And then you're going to need a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a pinch of salt. I've already got it all mixed in here, so I'm going to put that in here. You're also going to need three tablespoons of brown sugar. That goes in there. And here's kind of the kicker. You need one tablespoon of a whisk egg. Just one tablespoon. Yeah, you're probably going to waste an egg, but save it and make it for breakfast the next morning. So you put that in there. And we're going to mix it all together, about 20 or 30 seconds. Get it looking like dough. Make sure everything's broken down. Alrighty, so we got the ingredients mixed up. I'm going to add, you need a quarter cup of chocolate chips. I've got the mini ones. So you're going to put most of them in there with the batter, but you're going to save a few. So you're going to save those few. And then go ahead and mix all the chocolate chips up into the dough. Make sure they're all greatly incorporated and mixed in. Once you got that done, this is where you get to get your hands dirty. Just take all your dough, with all the chocolate chips, and then you're going to sit there and form it out and shape it out onto your cookie sheet. Just like this. Make it look good. Make it look like a big giant cookie. And then once you got that done, you're going to take your remaining chocolate chips and sprinkle them on top. This is going to be really chocolatey. And just kind of squish them down in there. Make sure they're on the cookie so they don't melt on your parchment paper. And once you got that done, what you're going to do is take it, put it in your 350 degree preheated oven. And you'll leave it there for about 12 minutes. Alrighty, so it's been 12 minutes. What do you say we check out the cookie? Look at that. That's what you call one big giant cookie. Guys, we got the cookie cooked, we got it cut up. This is supposed to be like a one serving cookie, but we thought we'd taste test it. So, you know, we cut it into quite a few pieces. So, here we go. Hey, up first. Give me that little piece. Save that for me. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Gooey wooey. Yummy. Yeah. Chips are tiny. Can we have seconds? Rich, get some cookie. Thanks, Lori. Thank you, Lori. So what is this? Great. So is it a success? Really Woohoo! Yeah.